What's going on, guys? So just a few days ago, I live streamed an unboxing of this handy dandy guy right here, which is the Anchor Power Core Play 6K, 6700 milliamp hour battery slash grip slash fan for your smartphone. And yes, I did just remember that name all on my own. Took me a brief moment, but I did get back to it. So like I said, I did a live video where I unboxed this thing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to do my full review for you guys, let you know what I think of this grip. So before I go any further, I do wanna mention that Anchor did send this to me to review. However, they're going to see my review when you guys see it. So let's switch to the overhead camera here and I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the device. So it's a pretty simple setup here. Basically your phone slots down in there and it pulls apart. It's actually you know, pretty firm. You got a rubberized texture back here in addition to this gripping. So your phone's not gonna come out of this and you could shake your phone and it's not going anywhere. Up top you have a USB-C port which charges the battery bank and then they give you a USB-C cable as well to plug in here, to plug into your phone, to both charge your phone, and also when you plug in your phone, that is what actually engages the fan. The fan pulls in air here and exhausts the air up top. It also has a kickstand on the back if you wanted to pop your phone in there, let it charge, and you know, say watch a movie or whatever. There are a couple of little stoppers in there as well, which keep the phone from bottoming out so that if you've got volume on, on one side, power on the other, you're not going to be accidentally hitting those buttons. But yeah, overall, pretty pretty simple design, nothing too crazy. Does feel quite good ergonomically in your hand. Let me show you what it looks like with my giant OnePlus 7 Pro in there. So the first thing I have to do is I have to take my phone out of its case because the phone is not going in there with the case on. And in fact, the OnePlus 7 Pro appears to be about as big as could possibly accommodate or be accommodated by this thing because it is maxed out. So once you're in there, that's it. And like I said, she ain't going anywhere. She is in there. Now with a big phone in there and this battery bank, this is relatively heavy, but from an ergonomic standpoint, being able to grip back here and then use your thumbs, that's actually pretty good and I think that's that's honestly the strongest thing about this about this grip so I dropped this guy in there I downloaded PUBG Mobile Fortnite and I played a few rounds of both to see what I thought about it how I thought about just the overall feel of this thing and honestly I like it more than I dislike it I think that this phone is actually just too large for this. Maybe if you had bigger hands, it'd be different. The problem I kept running into is that while holding it, your thumbs are here in a it's, it's difficult to reach the middle of the screen without repositioning your hand, if that makes any sense. So I kept having instances in Fortnite where I would accidentally bump the fire button. Same thing goes with PUBG. So I had to move those, those soft keys in PUBG Mobile to make it uh, where I wasn't accidentally hitting those keys. But then after playing for a little while, I figure, well, okay, I'll, I'll pull this out of the grip and I'll play it like that and see which one I prefer. Well, without the grip, it, this phone immediately felt too thin. It felt weird to hold on to, and I wanted to put it back in the grip to continue my match. So that's a good thing. If you compare before and after and you want to put it back in to finish your match, it's probably doing something right. So the next thing I wanted to look at when talking about this thing is the cooling effect that it has. So I ran Geekbench, just stock. Got a 2812, ran it again, got it a 2854, ran it again, got a 2785. That's what I expected to see. It gets starts to get warm, that score starts to drop. So then I put it in, plugged it in, got the fan running, ran it again, it dropped again, ran it again, it dropped again, ran it again. This time after this time after a full match of PUBG and it had dropped even further. And I think that's the biggest, probably the biggest failing of this thing. While playing PUBG Mobile, in the grip, my phone reached 102 degrees on the screen using an infrared thermometer. Not great. While playing Fortnite, and I cranked those settings, 60 FPS, 100% scaling, um, I reached 111 degrees on basically right where my right thumb was going and it was actually beginning to be uncomfortable with the fan running. The fan is simply not enough to keep this thing cool 
for either comfortability or for performance gains. I'm sorry, it just isn't. And in Fortnite, by the time it was getting that hot, my frame rate was starting to suffer a little bit. Thermals were just too high. That being said, if I was holding on to this thing at 110, 111 degrees, that would be uncomfortable with the grip. Only my thumb on one side was really dealing with the problem. As for the charging capabilities, 100% that does keep up. That's This thing's gonna charge your phone maybe up to twice from a full dead. It's not a fast charge, but while playing Fortnite, I was gaining battery. I wasn't, you know, holding steady or even losing battery. I was charging while playing. So that's a great thing. So I would say overall for this thing being $39.99, not gonna break the bank, not gonna hurt you too awful bad. Is this thing worth $39.99? That is the big question. And I would say, pretty pretty confidently that for most people yes it is going to be worth the 39.99 now if you're looking for this thing to keep your phone cool to keep your performance at peak it's not a strong enough fan to do that but if you want something to give your phone a grip to hold on to and a way to charge your phone while playing for a long period of time i think it's a great option to go for Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. As I said in my last video, thanks again for 1,500 subscribers. You guys are the best. We're going to take this thing all the way to the tippy top, as one Dr. Disrespect would say. That's all I've got for you on this one, but until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. If you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a Scary If Literal member. You'll get access to a whole bunch of emoticons to use with live streams and a shout out on an upcoming video. Thanks as always for your continued support.